what light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and through the air is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. For thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none of fools to wear it. Cast it off! It is my lady. Oh! It is my love. It is my love. Oh, that's no word. She knew she knew she speaks. Yet she says nothing. She says nothing. What of that? What of that? Her high discourses. I will answer it. Answer it. I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business, do and treat her eyes to twinkle in their spears until they return. What if her eyes were there? They in her head. They in her head. The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as daylight does a lamp. Every stream so bright, sing and think it were not night. Encore. She leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, and I would love upon that hand that I might touch that cheek. She speaks. Oh, we speak again, bright angel. Thou art in glory to this night, being over my head. A winged messenger of heaven to the white, upturned, wandering eyes of mortals. They fall back and gaze unto him. He bestrides the lazy, pacing clouds. And it sails upon the bosom of the air. Look, she's singing. She's still talking. Ha, 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 ha.